Thank you to uh, choir, Amen. the musicians, Amen. the ushers, the greeters, Amen. Minister Hardy and Reverend Clark and, and Minister Hardy in the absence. Yeah. Thank you all to all the officers, members, and friends, our guests. Thank y'all so much for being here Amen. today. Amen. We want to uh, find our place in the book of Galatians, Amen. chapter 5. And we're going right through the word. Anybody need a word? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Anybody Amen. want a word? Yeah. Amen. I need the word, the Lord yeah. the word for Amen. us Amen. today. I know. Yes. Sir. Well, if you're able to stand, stand when you get to Galatians. Galatians chapter 5. Amen. Is where we are. When you get to chapter 5, say amen. 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 If you want me to wait up a little bit, I'll. Huh? Say, hold up for a second. Go ahead. All right. Galatians. Uh huh. All right. Chapter 5. Amen. Verse 16. Yeah. And then verse 17. Amen. And it reads as follows This I say then, walk in the Spirit. Yeah. And you shall not fulfill the lusts. Of the flesh. Go ahead. Come on, back. For the flesh left us against the spirit. Yeah. And the spirit against the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. And these are contrary the one to the other. Yeah. So that you cannot do the things that you want. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Father, we bless you for your word. We yeah, praise yeah, you, yeah. give you glory, because you're true to your word. Yeah, right? yeah. Lord, today, as we stand before you as an open book, yeah, Lord. you have already read us from cover to cover. Yeah. We ask now, Lord, as you see us as we are, yeah, Lord. help us to see ourselves yeah. in the light of who you see. Yeah. That we, Lord, yeah. Can address the issues in our life. Yeah, Lord Jesus. And the walk, the walk that you set me for. Yeah. Looking unto you, Jesus, who is the author and the finisher yeah. of our faith. Yeah. Bless now. Bless all. Only you can in Jesus' name. Amen. We say amen. 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 Thank you so much for standing and thank you yeah. so much for serving. Yeah, Lord. Whether it be ushering, singing, thank you so much. All right, here's the title of the message today, my brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. the, winning the winning walk. The winning walk. Do anybody want to be a winner? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. I don't think anybody here want to be losers. Uh -uh. Let me ask you another way. Do we have any losers in here? Yeah. <laughs> so, who? We like winners, right? Yeah. So we want to talk about the winning walk today. All right. Amen. But when you look at this chapter, chapter 5, this chapter 5 gives us something that we must identify in all of our lives, whether you saved or unsaved. Uh -huh. It deals with position. Yeah. It deals with with posture yeah. and it deals with production <laughs> or producing however you want to see it. Uh -huh. Brothers and sisters, when we come to the fact of wanting to have the winning walk, All right. always got to be in our mindset there is a losing walk. If there's a winning walk, there must be a losing walk. Go ahead. <clears throat> and the way we approach this thing will determine which one we are in. Yeah. Are we in the winning walk? Go ahead. Are we in the losing walk? All right. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. So when Paul starts out this chapter, chapter 5 of Galatia, he writes to the church of Galatia. Uh -huh. Amen. Paul starts it out with the first thing he says is stand. Stand. Amen. 
That gives us a position. Yeah. The position that we are, brothers and sisters, are to take, we are to be standing. All right. My Lord. Paul said, stand fast. Yes. He didn't say stand slow. Uh -uh. Stand fast. Uh -huh. See, 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 some folk like to sit. Yeah. You know, I ain't going to point out anybody, but sometimes when, you know, you ask to stand, uh -huh. as soon as that, we should sit right back there. Right back there. See, when you're sitting, it symbolizes that you finish. Yeah. Now you rest. Yeah. But he did not say sit. He says stand. Mm -hmm. And brothers and sisters, we got to stand fast. Yes. Amen. Amen. When the Lord calling for us to take a stand, on, some of us don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us are slow. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. taking a stand. That's right. For what we believe and whom we believe. And, and it's important that we learn how if, if Jesus is the rock of our salvation, uh -huh. we ought to have the position of standing fast. All right. All right. See, if you keep, if you keep standing, you, I, put it this way, you ever seen a choir when the choir director want to get them up? They look, yeah. like, they look like popcorn. Uh -huh. when, when pop up. They don't get up together. They, 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 right? That's right. <laughs> but when they stand fast, everybody, shoo. That's right. Look better, look. It does. And when we stand fast in the Lord, we not only have to stand fast, but we have to stand focused. Oh. And here, we talk, so let's take a look at this first verse. He said, stand, right? He said, stand fast. What are we going to stand fast in? Our position is standing fast in the liberty. Yeah. Right. In the freedom. Uh-huh. We have a freedom, brothers and sisters, that God gave us, and we need to be standing fast in it. We need to stand fast in it. Amen. And the reason why we need to stand fast in it is because we need to be able to stand focused. Yeah. See, when you stand fast in the freedom, you got to take a next look and say, wherewith Christ have made us free. So when we stand fast in our freedom, we got to stand focused on he who made us free. Yes, right. Yes, right. You didn't free yourself. Oh, no. I didn't free myself. Oh, no. Amen. Amen. Jesus freed us. Yes, and he did it back up on that old rugged yes. cross. Yes. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. 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 So, so if, 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 if we ought to stand fast in this, this, this freedom where Jesus done for us, we got to stand focused on he who did it for us. Right. See, a lot of folk can't stand fast if they're not standing focused. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me help you. If you see something that you want, uh -huh. you hurry up and do it. There we go. But if we see something that the Lord wants you to do, sometimes we become well, that's amazing. All right. All right, All right. The Lord says, move when he moves. Be still when he says. Yeah. Be still. And too often, brothers and sisters, we, we can't get into this winning walk like we ought to because we're not standing fast and we're not standing focused. Fast in our freedom to focus on what the yeah. Father has done for us through Christ Jesus on that old running cross. All right. All right. Then. So if we don't stand fast and we don't stand focused, we can't stand faithfully. Hmm. See, that same verse right there. Say, we stand fast in our freedom and stand focused on Christ Jesus who died to give us this freedom. Because then the Bible declared that Jesus said to us in John 8, 31, uh -huh. 32, and 36, he said, if you continue in my word, then you are what? My disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So if the Son therefore make you free, you shall be what? Free, free indeed. Amen. Oh yeah. That, that's what he said. Amen. And because it was Jesus who died on that old record of the cross, Paul said in 2 Corinthians 5, 21, that God made Jesus to be sin for us 
who knew no sin, that we yeah. might be made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. That's who brought out, that's who gave us his freedom. That's right. Amen. But then when we stand faithfully, yeah. he said that we are not to be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Well. Do you know what the yoke of bondage is? <laughs> The yoke of bondage is trying to keep the law. Yeah. <laughs> trying to keep the law. If we try to dot those I's and cross those T's uh -huh. in order to make ourselves acceptable to God, brothers and sisters, we're not standing faithfully in what God has done through Jesus Christ on that old rugged cross. Yeah. Yeah. Other words, we're saying, I got to help Jesus out. Uh -huh. You remember when God told Abraham that his, his seed was going to be more than the stars, more than the sand? Yes, yeah. Amen. Sarah thought she was too old. Uh -huh. So she ended up giving Hagar, Hagar to Abraham and brought forth Ishmael. And there you go. Because Isaac was the promise, not Ishmael. That's right. Amen. So other words, they tried to help God out. God out. In other words, they put the cock before the horse. God don't need no help. God will do just what he said. We just got to stand fast and focused and faithfully in what he has said. But see, sometimes God takes too long and we feel like we got to help him out. And what happens is we get entangled up again in the same mess that got us in the first place. Where we are. Uh -huh. So Paul said to the Galatians, he said in verse 2, he said, I said, if you be circumcised, yeah. circumcised means keep the law because it was over there in Genesis chapter 17 that God made a covenant with Abraham and told them that every child in the eighth day must be, male child must be second circumcised. Yeah. That was a covenant. All the males had to be circumcised from eight days. And I don't care if you bought them, I don't care if they was in your house, whatever, they had to be circumcised. That's right. That was the covenant. Mm -hmm. And so that was part of the Mosaic law. Yes, uh -huh. And so now the, 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 the Judaizers, those who specialized in the Old Testament law and the commentaries and the teaching of the rabbis, they, they thought that we should obey the law more than grace. Yeah. So notice what they, Paul said. He said, listen, if, if that you be circumcised, if you keep the law, it don't profit you anything. Because right. I'm going to tell you, there's some people out here do good stuff. Yeah. There's, there, there, there's still there's some people out here that don't drive over the speed limit. Uh-huh. Like me, uh -huh. who, drive, <laughs> who drive over the speed limit. Y'all hear me? Some, some stay under the speed limit, but then they go right on and do submit. So he says, you being circumcised don't profit nothing. Christ shall not profit you anything. He said, for I testify again to every man that is circumcised, every man that keep the law, that you are a debtor Amen. to the whole law. Amen. In other words, if you drive the speed limit, but yet you throw paper out the window, uh -huh. <laughs> you, 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 you broke all the, you, you broke it all. If you break one, you broke them all. If you break one of me, you're a lawbreaker. Yeah. Ain't all right? Okay. <laughs> he said, Christ is become of no effect unto you. He said, you have become estranged from Christ. Yeah. Whosoever you are, if you be justified by the law. Uh -huh. If you be just because of the law, you are falling from grace. He right. doesn't mean that you're falling for salvation, but if you're looking for the law to put you in right relationship with God, then you have made Christ dying on the old rugged cross yeah. of none of it. Are you with me? Jesus died for absolutely nothing 
in your life, if you regard that, hey, I put my money in the bank, now I got to go home and get my shotgun and make sure it's safe. Uh -huh. All right. No, you put your money in the bank, you go on back home and wait for your little statements to come in there. Go ahead, back. Y'all hear me? That's it. There's nothing you can do to, <laughs> to keep your salvation. Yeah. Just like there's nothing you can do to get your salvation. But one thing, only one work, brothers and sisters, you will ever be able to do. And that Bible, the Bible tells us, Jesus said in John chapter 6, when they asked him, what are the works that we may do? Jesus said, believe on him and whom the Father has sent. Yeah. <laughs> that is the only work we can do, is believe. Yeah. That's where the work of faith, that's where faith yeah. comes in. Right. We believe. We believe. And if you believe, brothers and sisters, you're not bound by the law. Because Paul said in Romans 10, 4, that Christ is the end of the law for righteousness sake for all of us who believe. If you believe, The law was the schoolmaster, Galatians 3 tells us the law is the schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. Yeah. Once he brought us to Christ, the law brought us to Christ, and his grace saved us. We're no longer under the law. We're under grace. So brothers and sisters, he said in verse 5, for we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Matter. It don't matter if you've been, it, listen, it, it don't matter if, if, if you got a tattoo, uh -huh. if you got an earring, That's right. Right. you got a nose ring, right. uh -huh. or you wear pants. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> it, don't, it don't matter. A year that don't you listen. So somebody say the, the, the older folks say 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 you you got to go to church. Uh huh. We don't go to church to be saved. We go to church because we yeah. are saved. Yeah. Amen. You can be saved anyway. Amen. And God can save anybody. Amen. He said, "Whosoever will, what let him come." Amen. Amen. But see, sometimes we get to looking at it. Well, you got to do this. You can't do that. You got to quit smoking in order to be saved. You got to quit drinking. You got to quit shacking. You got to quit running. All you ain't got to quit doing that. You be saved and God has a way. Changing us from the inside out. To when you say the things that I used to do. Paul even said the things that he ought to do, he don't do. The things that he, he shouldn't do, he find himself getting caught up. Are y'all with me? Uh -huh. So who? He said in verse 7, you did run well. Y'all started out running well, but who did hinder you that you should obey, should not obey the truth? He said y'all started out running real good. Obeying what the truth of the word is. But somebody hindered you. In verse 8, he said, This persuasion cometh not of him that called you. God called you. And now all of a sudden you say you got to be circumcised or you got to keep the law in order to be right with God. He said, that didn't come from God. That came from these Judaizers. They came from these people who strain a mat and swallow a camel. <laughs> that, 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 that came from these folk who tried to say, I do as I say, but don't. <laughs> Pharisees. <laughs> but he said, number nine, he said, a little, a little leaven leavens the whole lump. Uh -huh. It were more Galatians who believed than it was Judaizers who did not believe. Yeah. Uh -huh. But guess what? A little leaven will mess it up. If you don't get cancer out of your body when it first show up, it will spread. Amen. If you don't, if you put a little yeast in some flour, in some bread, you know what's going to happen? It's going to rise. It's going to rise. But Paul said in verse 10, but I have confidence. I have confidence in you through the Lord that you will be not otherwise minded. You will not be other, you will not have a other another view, but you will stay true to what you have 
learned and what you have received and what you have heard. Yeah, exactly. yeah, but those that trouble you, they got to they got to stand. They got to stand for their own judgment. Yeah, they got to stand for their own penalty. Uh -huh. He said, "But I'm gonna tell you something, brother." In verse eleven, he said, "I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, I got one question for you: Why do I go through persecution? Amen. If 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 I preach the law, if I." Preach circumcision. Why are those Jews, why are my brethren, why are they still yet persecuting me? He says, then is the offense of the cross cease? No. The preaching of the cross is offensive. People don't like when you mention Jesus. Amen. You can call everybody else's name yeah. in the religious arena. Yeah. Muhammad. Buddha, Confucius, yeah. <laughs> you name it. But you call Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Demons trouble. Yeah. And they want to silence you. Yeah. Paul said, if I preach the law, then the preaching of the cross have ceased. But he said they have not ceased. Because Paul said, I preach Christ, him crucified. Yeah. Yeah. Are you with me? Uh -huh. yeah. So then he says in verse 12, I would they were even cut off with trouble you. In other words, I, I wish they were uh, uh, those that trouble you. I wish they would castrate themselves. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, he said, he said, I wish that they that, that trouble you were, were, were cut off. That's right. Yes, sir. Yeah. He said, in other words, why, why, why just stop at the foreskin and go and cut the whole thing off? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Wag it off. Wag it off. Put it on the chopping block. Yeah. In other words, Paul was saying, these false religions, these false teachers, those that teach this, this heresy, I would, I, I would that they were cut off. Just like a castrated person cannot reproduce offspring. No. Amen. Amen. If these false teachers and religious leaders were cut off, they would not reproduce followers of this false teacher. That's right. Yeah. But here's where the rubber hit the road. Yeah. Right. Verse 13, he said, For brethren, I hope y'all got y'all Bibles on right here. Amen. Yeah, because I've been going verse by verse. But yeah. He said, Bre Bre Brethren for brethren, verse 13. You have been called unto freedom. Go ahead. Amen. Unto liberty. Brothers and sisters, God called us into a freedom yes. that Jesus said if we are free in him, yes. if the Son make us free, we are free indeed. Yes. But only uh, don't you use uh -huh. your freedom, uh -huh. your liberty yeah. as an occasion as a cloak, as a cover-up yeah. for sin. Go ahead, Y'all go ahead. Yeah. 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 Only use not your liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there are some folk, that word liberty is a slippery word. Yeah. yeah. Because see, sometimes you tell people they're free now, they're they free to do whatever they want to do. Not so. Not so. You look, we are free in Christ Jesus. Yeah. The law is still the law. Uh -huh. We're not bound by the law Amen. as long as we stay in the boundary Amen. of the law. Amen. But if we happen to ex uh, slip out of the boundary, we're not disqualified. That's what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 9 27. I uh -huh. beat my body and bring it under subjection. Let's say, any time when I preach to others myself. Yes. When I be uh, cast away, disallowed, yeah. disapproved. <laughs> Look at it like this. Uh -huh. How many of y'all know football games? Y'all know football, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, if, what if the person that quarterback through the pass and the receiver caught the pass and the receiver wanted to play by his own rule? Uh -huh. <laughs> when they try to tackle him, guess what he do? He run out of bounds, run up in the stands, yeah. run all around him. And then come back in through the backside of the end zone. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, touch that. No, no, no. 
You got to stay in the. Stay in the zone. Yes, sir. You got to stay in the bounds. That's right. But if we try to get out, the bounds are there to protect us. Yeah. I wish I had a witness. Yeah. But there's, there's some folk who want to run this race for Christ, but they want to run it the way they want to run it. Yeah. They want to make their own rules as they go. No, sir. I thought about to tell y'all. Yeah. Come on, bitch. When we don't accept God's grace, uh -huh. yeah. we're going to be good, judged by God's law. No. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. It is. In other words, you can't do it the way you want to. He gave us guidelines, and he called us transgressors when we overstep the boundaries which yeah. God has set between good and evil. Amen. Talk to me, y'all. Y'all hear me? Yeah. So he says, don't use your flesh. Don't, don't use your freedom Amen. as an occasion for you to sin. All right. To indulge. Yeah. Yes, right. So here's what he says. Uh -huh. By love, we ought to do what? Serve. Serve one another. By love. By love. By love. love must be the motive yes. why we serve. God, yeah. and we serve one another. Uh -huh. and the reason I can tell you that because verse 14 says, for all the law is fulfilled in one word. One word. Amen. What's that one word? Love. 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 And he said this one word is in this, in, in this one statement. He said that, brothers and sisters, uh -huh. thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Oh, yeah. It's in the book, isn't it? It is. That's it. That's it. That's it. There's only two commandments in the whole Bible. Amen. Now, there's a whole bunch of them in there. Yeah. But there are only two. Two. That's right. Two. Yeah. And he put the second one in there because he said that the first one over in Matthew chapter 22, verse 34 through 40, when these uh, Pharisees heard that Jesus had put the Sadducees aside, uh -huh. They thought they were cool. I thought they were slick. They had this lawyer come up to try to test Jesus. Uh -huh. Say, hey, Jesus, which, hey, Master, which is the great commandment? Uh -huh. Jesus yeah. said to them, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, uh -huh. with all thy soul, uh -huh. and with all thy mind. Uh -huh. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, that you love your neighbor as you love yourself. For on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Yeah. That, that's what he said. Yeah. But he didn't say the first one here. He said the second one. Yes, that right. thou shalt love thy neighbor. Because right. right. there's some folk out here that try to think that you can love God and don't love your neighbor. Man. Yeah, right. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. How John, <laughs> John, he said, how can you love God? Yeah. And who you have not seen. Uh -huh. Amen. And you hate your brother. Yeah. And who you yeah. do see. Yeah. 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 So if you want to, if you want to get love right with God, you gotta get love right with your brother. Yeah. And your sister. Yeah. Some of us, we walk around, we don't speak to one another. Yeah. Some of us. Yeah. Right. Talk about how much we come in church. How I love Jesus, but then you roll your nose up. Yeah. Y'all yeah. hearing me? Yeah. I'm yeah. just saying, if we don't love one another, uh -huh. yeah. we can't love God. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't have to say the first one because if you don't get the second one right, the first one is not right. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Because I, these two commandments came out of the 10 in Exodus chapter 20 when he declared that thou shalt have no other God before me. That's one. Uh -huh. Thou shalt make no great man into anything in, in heaven, in earth, and in the water beneath the earth. That's two. Uh -huh. Y'all with me? Uh -huh. yeah. Take the Lord thy God. Do not take the Lord thy God name in yeah. vain. Yeah. That's three. Yeah. Right? right? Remember the Sabbath day and keep it what? Holy. Uh -huh. That's four. Uh -huh. If you ain't putting God first, yeah. if you're trying to put an idol or something before, uh -huh. You yeah. represent God. Go if you are taking God's name in vain, Amen. and if you don't remember the Sabbath, mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right. to keep it holy, Go ahead, Amen. you are not going to be able to do number five. Uh -huh. Number five 
said, what? Honor thy father and thy mother that thy day will be long. Number six, thou shalt not what? Kill. Seven, thou shalt not commit adultery. Seven, eight, thou shalt not steal. Nine, thou shalt not bear false witness. Stop lying on one another. Ten, stop coveting. Right? All right. That's what he said. It is. So if we don't get the last six right, God knows we can't get the first four right. Stand up. Stand up. Amen. 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 People focusing on that first four. Now I'm going to tell you something. God is first. Uh -huh. His name to be reverenced. Yeah. No yeah. other like God. Mm -hmm. And if his day, the Sabbath is holy, uh -huh. there ought not to be anything that we can't put up with that our father and our mother have brought us through. Amen. Amen. We ought not to be able to kill one another. Uh -huh. Commit adultery and Still, yeah, lie on one another. Uh -huh. Want what somebody else got? Uh -huh. Oh Lord, have mercy. Pray. I'm glad time is hurry up for us to get out of here. <laughs> so he says in the next verse, brothers and sisters, if you get that one right, uh -huh. you can get the first one right. Mm -hmm. He said, but if you, uh, if, you? if I, All right. if we All right. bite. And devour one another. another. Take heed. Yeah. Then you be not consumed one of another. That's right. What are you saying? If we bite each other? Uh huh. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about come on. Uh huh. But if we, amen. Biting one another, trying to devour one another. If yeah. we bite and devour one another, guess what? We are going to be consumed. Yeah. Right. That's right. We're going to eat up the whole part. Yeah. Not just the hand part, uh -uh. but the whole part. The whole part. And that's what many of us in Christendom are doing. We're biting one another. One another. We're devouring one another. We are consuming one another. And we have this crab mentality. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Look out. Amen. You know, when they get those crabs, those, those crabs are cooked alive. Are y'all with me? Yeah. They, 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 they put them in that water and, and get that bowl of water and put the crab in there, a bunch of crabs in there, and then the thing gets to heating up. And that's why the crabs, those crabs try to get out the top. Yeah. Every time that crab try to get out the top, here's one another one trying to what pull them down. They got a, 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 the crab's got a, like so many of us in church, got a every man for himself mentality. <laughs> Y'all hear me? Yeah. But when we have a serve through love mentality, uh -huh. when I get my claw up top, I reach the other one back. Y'all come on. Y'all join hands. Let's get out of here. But no, we try to, we bite and we devour each other. Yeah. And right. guess what? We consume each other. Each other. Yeah. And most of the time it's in church, in, in Christian where, yeah. where, where, where we don't help one another, we hurt one hurt. another. Hurt. We shoot the wounded. Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But so now as I hasten to get us out of here. Uh huh. <laughs> I told you though, in our standing, we got to stand fast, stand focused, and stand faithful. That's our position. But we ought to have, when we stand, we ought to have a posture that is walking. Yeah. Walking. Walk. And so you can walk in the spirit, uh -huh. or you can walk in the flesh. That's right. Amen. But if you walk in the spirit, yeah. you will not fulfill the desires of Not the flesh. flesh. Right. But if you walk in the flesh, you cannot fulfill the desires of the spirit. Right. They are contrary one to the other. They're like, they're like, they're like oil and water. They don't mix. Right. Here some would try on Sunday to please the spirit. Yeah. Monday through Saturday, please uh -huh. the flesh. The flesh. Hmm. Uh -huh. I, I don't know you. I don't know what you do. You don't know me, you don't know what I do. But he God knows us all. Yeah. He knows us 
all. And there are sometimes, brothers and sisters, we think that we're fooling everybody, but the most important one, we can't fool. So he says to us in verse 18, but if we are led of the Spirit, we're not under the law, but he gives us in verse 19 some evidence of walking in the flesh. Yeah. I told you, the winning walk is when we walk in the spirit of God. Uh -huh. But the losing walk is when we walk in the flesh. In the flesh. And there's evidence to both of them, but he listed the evidence to walking in the flesh first. Here's what's evident to all of us that if we are walking in the flesh and not in the spirit. Yeah. He says the first thing is adultery. Those that are walking in the flesh will commit adultery. Yeah. Those that are walking, y'all know what adultery is. Yeah. Adultery is when somebody has another married woman or another married man. Yeah. Yeah. Y all, y all, we know what it is. Right? Yeah. He said not only that is fornication. Okay. Sexual right. immorality. Yeah. Yeah. You're not married, yeah. but you're kicking it like you are married. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't write this book, y'all. Then he says uncleanliness, which yeah. is sexual impurity. Because it's impure if it ain't between a man and a woman yeah. who is married. Yeah. 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 It, so then he says licentiousness, licentiousness, which is when you have a sexual excess. Yeah. Can you get enough? Are you going to be satisfied? Uh -huh. You're doing it wrong, but good. Yeah. That's it. These are evident Evidence. of those who walk in, in the flesh. Yeah. Y'all feel like the crab in the hot water right now. Yeah. <laughs> we all been there. Oh, yeah. We all been yeah. there. Truth be known, we there right now. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But he tells us these are the evidence yeah. of us who will walk in the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. And just in case none of them fit it, uh -huh. some of us, then maybe, maybe some of the other ones in verse 20 would fit us. I doubt uh -huh. You may say, well, I ain't slept with nobody's husband, nobody's wife. I ain't. I've been known, but then you put idolatry. Uh -huh. You put something or somebody, yeah. your job of yeah. this before yeah. your God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Flesh. 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 Witchcraft. Yeah. You got your little palm readers. Yeah. Your horoscopes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> your marbles or your yeah. dice or whatever you you know. Witchcraft. Uh -huh. Oh hatred. 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 Anybody here hating anybody? <laughs> That's all the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. He said variance, which is brothers and sisters contentions. Yeah. Anybody just can't get along with one another? I <laughs> don't. Contentious. <laughs> Contentious. But then he but then he said uh, uh, uh emulation. Emulations. Uh, anybody here jealous? Oh, they call him right now. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Jealousy. What are they for? <laughs> Jealousy. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. Somebody 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 want what you get. Yeah. They jealous because you got something yeah. they want. They yeah. want. Yeah. Wrath, is it? Y'all ever meet about that? They're just angry all the time. I know. They just angry. Wake up. Go to bed angry. Wake, wake up angry. Like they eat nails for breakfast. Come out. Yeah. When they see angry. Then he says, striving. Oh. Self is ambition and uh, all of that strife, sedition, dissensions, heresies. You know, uh -huh. people are, are, are strange in a lot of ways. Yeah. They do unto you 
Uh-huh. Well, they don't want anybody to do it to them. Yeah. Oh, my God. When we are to do unto others, as we will have them do unto us, we don't live by that golden rule. Uh-uh. We live by, I'm going to get you before you get me. <laughs> but then he says, in me. I'm jealous because you got it, and since I can't get it, I don't want you to have it. Yeah. Jealous and right. envy of the, of the two sided coin. Yeah. Heads and tails of the same coin. Yeah. I don't care if you got a quarter and it's on heads, the tails are with it. It is. If it's tail, heads are with it. Same thing. You got jealous, you got envy. Uh -huh. <laughs> they work together. Murderers. Slanderers. Yeah. Slaughter. Put one another to death with that tongue. Uh, Drunkenness, rioting, yeah. revelings, boasters. He said, and such a light I have also told you in the time past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. All right. So this is the perfect day for all of us to quit doing whatever we're doing yeah. in life. Because he said, I done told you once, yeah. I done told you twice, right. I'm telling you again. Amen. The word of God says, those that practice these things on, shall Richard. not inherit. Shall not. Shall not. Shall not. All of us fall short. Yeah. I don't have no dirt to throw at you, yeah. no stone to throw at you. Uh -huh. so like, you know, all of us fall short. Oh. But we thank God for new mercies. Yeah. 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 New mercies every yes, day. Yes, yes. Every day. So he says to us as we close. Yes. When we do the winning walk, yeah. there's only one way we can do this winning walk. All right. And verse 22 and verse 23 tells us yes. what it is. Yes. Just as an evidence to a losing walk through those things that are of the flesh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And see, the Bible declares. That those of us that are in Christ Jesus, there is no condemnation. No. Yes, right. In Romans chapter 8. Yeah. He yeah. said, there is therefore now no condemnation no. to them which are in Christ Jesus. Yes. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yeah. Amen. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ have made me free from the law of sin and death. Yeah. Amen. For what the law could not do in that were we through the flesh, God sent his own son. Yes, in yeah. the righteousness of sin for flesh and for sin and condemned sin in the flesh yeah, that yeah. the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Yeah. Amen. To walk not after the flesh, yeah. but after the spirit. Uh -huh. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Oh, yeah. But they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit. For the cousin to be cunning minded yeah. is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And peace. Amen. Because the cunning mind is enmity against God. It is not subject to the law of God. And neither indeed it can be. Yeah. So those that are in the flesh, you cannot please God. Amen. But guess what? Uh -huh. He said in 8 9 of Romans, he said, But we're not in the flesh. We're not. But we're in the spirit. Very, man. It's so be that the spirit of God dwells in us. us. Thank you, Lord. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, then none of his. So because we are his, yeah. he says in verse 22 and in closing, here's how we have the way and walk. He tells us we must walk in love. Love. Walk in love. See, brothers and sisters, you can't love me if you don't love God. Amen. I can't love you if I don't love God. When you women, if you dating a man, he tell you he love you and he ain't saved, you tell me lie. Go ahead, Because he don't know love. That's right. Man, if there's a yeah. woman tell you I love you, I love you, but they don't know God. Yeah. 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 They don't know love. Why do you think so many relationships break up? Why do you think so many? Because they don't have real love. Real love is a love. love. Unconditional love. Yeah. Meaning that I'm not going to hurt you because you're not going to hurt me. Because we love God. Amen. 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 And if one do fall short, Amen. 
The love of God will help us pick them back. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Why do you think there's so many divorces and so much hatred and stuff in the world? It's because it's it ain't real love. Not it's not lust. Love. Not love. Love covers a multitude. Yeah. Amen. He tell you, I love you, but I, I love you, baby, but, I, but baby, I do it. I love you. Do you love Jesus? Yeah. Are you saved? Mm -hmm. Come yeah. on, old people, church. But no, no, no. <laughs> Leave them at the door. At the door. Back up. You <laughs> see? You see? <laughs> 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 he said, back up. You see? You save yourself a whole lot of hell. Yeah. Down the road. Yeah. Real love. Real love. But he said, you walk in love, but then he said, walk in joy. Yeah. See, when we walk in joy, we come to find out that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yeah. And so you don't, you can't walk in joy if you don't have the love of God. Yeah. Because joy follows love. Yeah. If you don't get love, you can't get joy. Yeah. And when we walk in the joy of the Lord, the scripture tells us we are to rejoice in the Lord always. Oh, and again, I say rejoice. Amen. Because the more you find yourself joy in the joy of the Lord, joy unspeakable and full of glory, the more you become strong to love yourself even when a man won't love you. Yeah. Even you love yourself when there's no woman who will love you. Yeah. Because you know that God loves you unconditionally. Yeah. But then they said we'll walk not only in love and joy, but we'll walk in peace. Yeah. Yeah. Amos 3 3 said, How can two walk together except they be agreed? That's right. And brothers and sisters, when we walk yeah. in the peace of God, the Bible declares that we are able, able. to let our prayer requests be known unto God. Yeah. And the peace of God that pass all oh. understanding. Yeah. It'll keep our hearts, it'll guard our hearts, yeah. it'll guard our minds. Through Christ Jesus. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Amen. Because he said the fruit of the Spirit, these aspects of the, of, the, of the Spirit, he didn't say the fruits. They are gifts, but they are the fruit. Meaning that when we get the Holy Spirit, we get nine, all nine aspects of this fruit. Uh -huh. But the question is, these fruit must grow. Yeah. And a lot of us, who have the spirit of the living God dwelling on the inside of us, have not allowed these fruit to grow. All right. If we let them grow, then they can show. Yes. And once they show, then you will know yes. what you're working with. Amen. As right. well as other folks who yes. will know. Yes. Right. When we don't walk in love, brothers and sisters, don't you take, don't fool, don't fool yourself. People know Amen. Oh, yeah. whether you're walking in love. Yes. That's right. If we're walking in joy, we're not walking around here mad all the time. Amen. Because we look and forgive and let God fight our battles. And we go home and lay down in peace. Because you know that the Bible said God would keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. Uh -huh. He'll give us peace that path off. I can't understand how I'm going to look you in the face. I think you're going to me wrong. But God give me a peace yeah. that yeah. he would take care of. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. But then he said, when you're not only walking in love, joy, and peace, he said, you got to walk in long suffering. Oh, okay. Other words, you got to forbear. You got to put up with some folks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sometimes we got to put up with others just like others have to put up with us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. If people get on your nerves just like they get on my nerves, you get on theirs. Yeah. Just like I get on theirs. That's right. We all do. Amen. Because we're different. Yeah. But when we walk in love, we prefer one another for ourselves. And we walk in the joy that the Lord, he, the Bible declares that we look unto Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith, who uh -huh. is the joy that was set before he endured the cross and despite the shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He did it for joy. The joy of you and I. Yeah. So you mean to tell me, I can't have joy and fellowship with you? Walking with you? My Lord. Uh -huh. I'm at peace. Yeah. And so guess what, y'all? Amen. We gotta, we gotta put up with each other. Oh yeah. Amen. 
You have not arrived, neither have I. We all fall short. Amen. I can't throw you away. Yeah. You can't throw me away. Because yeah. God didn't throw you the other way. Yeah. Yeah. He, kept, he kept us all. Kept us all. And then he said, not only those of us, but we got to walk in, walk in gentleness. Yeah. In other words, we all walk in kindness. Yeah. People in church ain't kind. Ooh. All right. There's something hard about finding kind folk in church sometimes. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can find folk kind over here, but then you'll find none kind. And they're kind over here, then you'll find none kind. I mean, it all depends on what flows that boat. If they have a good day or bad day. If they're going to let the door slam in your face, or they're going to hold it open for you. Yeah. Mm. Y'all quiet, man. Go ahead, Pastor. These are yeah. evidence. These are the evidence if we are walking in the fruit of the Spirit or we're walking in the winning walk. Uh -huh. Do I walk in love? Do I walk in joy? Do I walk in peace? Do I walk in long suffering? Do I walk in kindness? Do I walk in goodness? Uh -huh. Do I walk if I want the best for you, go the ahead. good for you? Do you walk that you want the good for me? Because God's been good to all of us. All of us. He's been better to us than we've been to. He's better than we deserve. We don't deserve his goodness but because of who he is. Amen. Or do we take his goodness and look down on somebody else? Come on, please. But then he says, walk in faith. Yeah. You know, are we walking in dependency on God? Are we depending? Do our faith cause us to depend on God who is able to help us through it? Well, walk in meekness. Uh -huh. Walk in meekness. That, that word meekness is gentleness. Yes, that's right. Love. Do we walk all the time with a chip on our shoulder? Go ahead. All right. Sit on edge, just take just a little bit of don't take much. Go ahead. Do we walk in temperance? All right. Self-control? I didn't say other control. Yeah. Self-control. Self -control. <laughs> we, we specialize in walking trying to control others. Yeah. And we don't control ourselves. That's it. That's it. But we want to win and walk. Yeah. And then a win and walk, we got to learn how to practice self Control. Yeah. The ability to control oneself is hard. Very hard. Outside the Spirit of God. Very hard. And the Bible declares against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us also Whoa. walk in the Spirit. Let us be filled with the yeah. Spirit. Let us live in the Spirit. Uh -huh. Let us be led by the Spirit. Yeah. Let us walk in the Spirit. Uh -huh. And let us be fruitful in the Spirit. Amen. 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 I'm just trying to say, is there anybody who want to be a winner? Amen. 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 We want to be winners. Yep. And the way we be winners, we let the spirit have control. control. Be not drunk with wine where in excess, but be ye what? Filled yeah. with the spirit. Yep. None of us are perfect. All of us are work in progress. Yes, sir. And I'm so glad that God is not through with me. God is not through with you. He still causing the fruit, this fruit that he has placed in us to grow. Yeah. When we grow love, joy will grow too. When we grow joy, peace will follow right after. Yes, And when you grow that peace, long suffering is going to be right there. Y'all with me? Oh, yeah. Kindness is going to be right there. Yeah. Goodness is going to be right there. Long suffering, all that good stuff is going to be right Amen. there. Amen. Now, we through. I took a little, I took a long time, didn't I? That's all right. Amen.
Because let me tell y'all something. We are losing this walk. We are losing yeah. this walk. Because you know why? We're trying to please the flesh. Yeah. We're trying to please man. Yeah. We're trying to please this old nature. Yeah. But God says we cannot inherit the kingdom yeah. of God. Anybody here want to go to heaven? Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do. That's why I ask the Lord to forgive me every single day. The, the sins I do in omission as well as in commission. I do. And I ask the Lord every day to give me strength. Yeah. Because when the old devil tried to take this flesh, yeah. and don't y'all tell me it ain't no fun in sin. Oh, yeah. It is. Yeah. A whole lot of fun in sin. Yeah. <laughs> don't fool yourself. If, 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 fun won't, if, sin won't, if sin won't fun, none of us will have a problem with it. Because no. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're pleasing the flesh. Yeah. But one thing that's great about pleasing the flesh, my brothers and sisters, is we please the Father. Yeah. Amen. We please the Father. Let us stand to our feet. Please the Father. Yeah. 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 All I'm trying to say is, you can't say that God didn't tell us. Amen. We can't say that the Lord didn't warn us. We can't say that we did not hear his word. Amen. We can't say that. So today, if there's one here who want to get into the right fellowship, yeah. God, maybe through letter. Baptism. Oh, yeah. Through rededication. We invite you to come today. Oh, yeah. Because, see, we're going to die. Yeah. But until we die, we got to walk this walk. Uh -huh. And there's too many of us are walking and losing walk. When God wants us to walk, then we're in when walk is that we love one another because we love God. Oh yeah. The losing walk is if we seek to please us, myself, yourself, that will cause us to harm one another. Yes, yes. We are in jeopardy. Oh yeah. In jeopardy. Because uh -huh. if we don't forgive one another, God said we can't forgive. Yeah. We can't forgive. Yeah. So will you trust him today? Amen. All right. Father, we stand here before you today. Yes, Lord. Lord. For mercy and for grace. Yes. Lord, help us today. To help us, Lord. Apply your word to our hearts. Yes. As we look around, there are people dying, falling by the wayside. Uh -huh. Suddenly, unexpectedly, because your word said we don't know the day or the hour. Amen. That you will come for us. Yeah. But Lord, you told us to be ready. Yes. So Lord, help us to stand faithfully yes, and focus yes. and fast and be evil, Lord. Yes, Lord. To walk this walk that you have set before oh, yeah. us. Yeah. Not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Yeah. Lord, that we'll bring honor and glory to thy name. Oh, yeah. And Father, that when we enter into your kingdom. Yes, Lord. We hear you say, well done. Well done. Thy good and thy faithful soul. Yes. We messed up. We messed up. Yeah. In word and action as well. Uh -huh. Indeed. But God, we're so thankful. Thank you, Lord. That the blood of Jesus Thank you. cleanses us, covers us. Yes. And all of our sin. Yes, Lord. So we ask you today, God. Thank you, Lord. Father, that you will put out sin. Yeah. Put out disobedience Put out. in your forgiveness yeah. and help us yeah. to walk in your new mercy. Yeah. Yeah. We ask you today, God, right now, right now, Lord. to create in us yes. the clean heart yes. and renew the right spirit. Yes. Help us not to sin against you 
And when we do, help us to recognize it. Yeah. Repent of it. Yeah. And go and sin. Amen. No more. No. Forgive us. Forgive us. Are we prepared to take of this table? Yes. As we remember you. Yes. Father, please remember us. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bless the sick. The bereaved families. Uh -huh. Those that are going through whatever it is that they're going through. Yes, Lord. Lord, we bring your covering upon them now. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. And there may, may be some who cannot stay for the communion. Yeah. So Lord, we ask you now, right now Lord. that you would go with us, stand with us, and keep us. Yeah. And you will ever keep you yeah. yes, Lord. And in that we say, may the grace of our Lord and Savior, yeah. the sweet communion of your Holy Spirit, rest in the little body. Now, henceforth and forevermore, in Jesus' name, Jesus. we say amen, 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 amen. 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 Those of you that must go, if you will please quietly, those that are going to stay, we are now going to communion.